Okay, next question. Two resistors of 17 ohms and 22 ohms are connected in parallel. This parallel combination is then connected in series with a 15 ohm resistor. The circuit is supplied from 110 volts DC supply. And we have six questions that we need to answer. So I've gone ahead and uh, drawn the diagram. And in question one, we need to calculate the resistance of the parallel combination. Now to calculate the resistance of the parallel combination, R parallel, you can use the uh, product sum rule, product on top, sum at the bottom. So it'll be 17 multiplied by 22 over 17 plus 22 ohms. And that will give us the resistance of the parallel branch. Let me just grab my calculator and check that answer. And that will give us 9,59 ohms. Okay, next question, 4.2. To calculate the resistance total of the circuit, it will be the resistance of the parallel branch plus the resistor in series, which is called R3. So the resistance of the parallel branch is 9,59 ohms. And the value of R3 is 15 ohms. And that gives us a total resistance and the units is ohms and we get 24,59 ohms. Okay, moving on to 4.3. Calculate the total current drawn from the supply. So to calculate I total, it will be V total over R total. The total voltage is given to us, it's 110 volts. And the resistance total, 24 comma 59 and therefore the current in amperes will be 4 comma 473 amperes okay moving on to 4.4 calculate the volt drop across the parallel combination so therefore the parallel will be equal to now if you have a look over here I total enters the entire parallel branch and leaves the parallel branch so we're going to be using i total times the resistance of the parallel branch okay so i total entering is 4,473 and the resistance of the parallel branch which we've calculated earlier is 9,59 therefore the volt drop across the parallel branch will be uh, 42 comma 896 volts okay moving on to 4.5 calculate the current flow through each resistor it's important to note that I total will be the same current passing through I3 so I total equals I3 and we have calculated the total current it is uh, 4,473 amps okay now we can go ahead and calculate I1 and here we will use the voltage across the parallel branch divided by R1 and then to calculate I2 it will be the voltage across the parallel branch divided by R2 so therefore V parallel of uh, 42,896 over R1 is 17 ohms and we use the same voltage for I2 because they're in parallel so that's 42,896 divided by the resistance of R2 is 22 ohms and then we'll get our current through each branch so I1 works out uh, to 2, 523 amps and I2 works out to 1,95 amps. Now I1 plus I2 should be equal to uh, the total current. Let me just move this out of the way so it doesn't confuse anyone. Okay, let's move on to the last question 4.6. Calculate the power drawn by the 22 ohm resistor. So just to highlight, here's the 22 ohm resistor. And we want to know how much power is dissipated by this resistor. So I'm going to use this power formula. 
I square times R. We're going to use the current through the second branch and the value of the second resistor. So the current through the second branch was uh, 1,95. Don't forget to square. And the value of the second resistor was 22 ohms. And so therefore, the power rating in watts will be 83,655. comma 655. Yeah, thanks very much for watching this video, guys.